Um, so who's not, I invite to everyone who's not speaking to um, close the camera and the microphone uh, and then Chetal will give you the floor, okay? So the recording is on and now I invite everybody. Hello, good evening, everybody. My name is Sheetal Jalan. I'm the coordinator, I'm the moderator for the course, Make It Open Schooling. And I'm very excited today to hear from our guest speakers who are from different countries. Myself, I've been associated with European Schoolnet for quite some time and have been a STEM educator for 16 years. Currently, I'm working as an ICT coordinator and a science and tech teacher at Futura School in International Stockholm. And I'm very excited to be moderating this event, Teach Meet. So welcome everybody, all our participants. I can see you all. I'm posting a small link on Mentimeter in the chat session, just to hear your ideas and thoughts on open schooling. Please click on the link and just share two words that come to your mind. And now I would like to start our meet by inviting our first guest, Yasminka from Croatia. Yasminka, the floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, just give me one second to share my screen. Okay. I believe you see my screen now. Could you just confirm, please? Yes, we can see if you can just uh, put it in the present mode. OK, thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Yasmin Kabelschak. I'm coming from Croatia and uh, I'm very glad to have this chance to present you one of my activities, activities with students. Uh, it's called Summer Science Factory where the water flows, the Ozobot goes. Summer Science Factory is a project uh, implemented for the last 15 years with uh, two main goals. First is to provide creative and quality uh, summer holidays for uh, children. And second is to bring science closer to children. Uh, last year, uh, summer uh, Science Factory was held at the uh, Mediterranean uh, Institute for Life Sciences uh, in Split in Croatia during summer holidays. And the uh, workshop uh, I have lead uh, was uh, for four days, each day is uh, eight hours. And uh, gifted students around the age of 10 uh, participated in this workshop. Before uh, holding workshop, uh, I had to write a learning scenario and uh, that learning scenario was reviewed and approved by the expert program committee. One of the activities in uh, this workshop was uh, entitled From Drop to Flood of Knowledge. As you can see on those pictures, uh, some activities were outside, some were uh, inside and uh, we weren't not uh, in school. Uh, we had uh, many experiments. So uh, students research, for example, properties of water, how to create clouds, rain, uh, or how to create a water filter. Uh, before workshop, uh, we agreed uh, that we uh, will call some expert. So our first guest uh, was uh, Tony Schulatz. Tony is a professor, scientist and expert associate of CERN, European Organization for Nuclear Research. He has uh, explained our students uh, what Higgs boson is and uh, he has uh, led uh, one uh, short uh, workshop there, but uh, he also learned how to use uh, robot Ozobot, which was used during whole workshop, how to use this uh, robot uh, and how to program it. So he learned something and he gave us some new uh, knowledge. Our students were young, gifted, and they were very, very interested. Particularly, uh, they were uh, especially interested in the process of formation of tornadoes. 
and uh, at this moment we had uh, one small problem uh, who to invite to call uh, uh, who to invite and to call uh, to explain us how uh, the tornado is made so on student request we find one expert Mr. Damian uh, Jelic, Master of Physics and uh, Geophysics. Uh, so that uh, master, uh, that um, scientist give to our students uh, explanation how a tornado is made. And also students were given the opportunity to make their own tornado in a bottle. Second part of our workshop uh, was uh, entitled Water and Robot Ozobot. As you can see uh, on first uh, picture, picture ball, uh, Ozobot is a very, very small robot and uh, it can be programmed with colors, but also uh, it can be programmed uh, uh, with uh, color code programming language. So we used all the time robot Ozobot to solve some task related to water and uh, to make some quizzes, uh, games and so on. Uh, one day, students noticed that um, water molecule is similar to Mickey Mouse. You all know who Mickey Mouse is, very famous uh, character. So they draw Mickey Mouse water molecule uh, using color code, using programming language for this Ozobot. One of the final tasks was uh, to prepare game uh, and uh, on picture on the bottom of the this slide, you can see students uh, playing game, presenting game, because uh, all activities were also broadcasted uh, live uh, using. Uh, uh, we have also used Teams. Final result was um, here. Few water themed uh, board game related to 17 sustainable development goals, especially those four, 6, 7, 13, and 14. And as you can see on the pictures on the right side, for example, uh, here, uh, there is some empty field. Uh, black is the road path where all about goals. And uh, here are some empty parts. And uh, students who played game must fill this part. Uh, for example, they have um, questions. For example, uh, which cloud uh, looks like a ship? Uh, either is uh, we call it in Croatia stratus or uh, cir uh, or uh, circumulus. I don't know uh, how to call it uh, on English. And uh, then students must choose some uh, answer. Uh, draw it here, call here, and according to uh, chosen uh, answer, Ozobot will move. For example, if Ozobot will be here on uh, some uh, crossroad, uh, answer if it's correct, uh, it can go, for example, on the right, uh, or if it's wrong, it will go on the left. Our students had lots of fun. They learned a lot uh, and they told us that they are interested uh, to go uh, in summer science factory more than once in a year. So we hope uh, they will uh, join us also this summer during summer holidays and we will learn something new. Now, Great, uh, yes, Menka. I, I would like to ask you, I will uh, put uh, some uh, short evaluation link uh, uh, for participants to feel um, to feel, uh, what do they think about this workshop? Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Yasmanka. I'm really intrigued by your presentation. This is a very clear example of STEM education, maker pedagogy and integration of the sustainable development and a lot more. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I have a question. You, you think to create this summer uh, factory uh, for international participants? So we, we our students to come in your uh, summer festival factory because uh, it's, uh, it's very nice what you create there. Uh, I'm not sure. It uh, last year uh, was one uh, student uh, from uh, another country. Uh, I can ask this. 
Exactly. Uh, and uh, after that to announce, uh, because maybe I can uh, organize with my students and my teacher to participate there. But uh, thinking about this. Thank you so much. Can you can contact me. You can contact me. Uh, you have my uh, mail. Uh, in this uh, teach meet there is also our uh, mails and so on uh, in teams so please uh, feel free to uh, to contact me mm -hmm. thank you so i much. will check thank you thank you and please feel a short question about this activity whether we shall this uh, con uh, this activity uh, do once more or not thank you yasminka we'll take up thank the you. questions and answers at the end of the sessions and you can also post your questions and answers on the Q&A &A section or in the chat section. I would like to invite our next guest, Maria Pia from Italy. Maria okay. Pia, the floor is yours. Yes, thank you very much. I want, I'm going to share my screen for just a moment. <laughs> I... I teach math and science in a small school in the north of Italy. My school is in a small village. And so I think it is really important to make a connection between the school and the community. Do you see my presentation, Chetal? Is okay? Y yes. Can you just yes. maximize it? Thank you. Okay. Is okay now? Um, yes, if you can just put it in the present or the presentation mode. OK, yes. So <clears throat> I'm going to present okay, just uh, all the uh, <clears throat> very simple and easy ideas that I did in my school. And I think everyone can adapt this idea and start from the, these ideas to create uh, their own learning scenario. So open schooling for me, uh, for example, is uh, to do something outside the school, outside the classroom, maybe also to do something in collaboration with the community, uh, maybe to do something uh, innovative in collaboration with other school and other uh, uh, people, some, for example, expert uh, industries and so on. So, if we start uh, just only outside the classroom, uh, I created during the school years, the past school years, a mini garden with my students, uh, especially with the recycled materials, uh, because we are really interested in the topic of environment and pollution and so on. And in these very easy activities, we ask the collaboration with the family because they give us the palette, uh, the seeds, uh, plants, uh, and so on. And the community can see what uh, uh, my students create because they walk around our school and they can see the, the flowers, uh, the little garden, and so on. Um, <clears throat> We create also an organic garden um, and uh, in this case we ask the collaboration to an expert in organic agriculture. So he came twice or three times in our school and uh, taught my students <coughs> uh, which kind of vegetables are suitable to plant in our situation, in our climate, and uh, <clears throat> how cultivate these, uh, grow up these plants without using pesticides uh, and other chemical uh, products. And uh, <clears throat> we ask also the collaboration to the local um, industry that recycle the, the waste materials, and they give us the wooden boxes and also the compost and the soil we put in the in the wooden boxes in order to create uh, our garden. And uh, at the end of the year, we <coughs> we mm, took these uh, vegetables, and uh, every student uh, can take it home uh, uh, some salad or, <laughs> or something or something else, uh, some fruits. And day by year by year, we continue this uh, activity. And uh, <coughs> Another opportunity, we have a very nice collaboration with our local administration. And um, so it's a small village, so we 
we all know each other and so we <coughs> know personally our major and we i asked them uh, him to help us to celebrate three festival and so the local administration by every year some uh, trees and uh, we plant these trees in the school garden and then students take care of this uh, garden and when we have this activity all the community all the population is invited to be present and to see what we are doing uh, all around the school garden and of course uh, students in each class can prepare this uh, uh, festival uh, with less uh, adapted lessons uh, learning scenario and so on uh, <clears throat> and this is a multidisciplinary approach every teacher uh, give uh, gives uh, is uh, is a uh, uh, contribute. So, for example, uh, the literature teacher uh, starting from the myths uh, create this poster and so on. And we collaborate also with um, younger students uh, because in the same building we have students from six years to 14 years. There are two levels of school but we collaborate with each other. So when we have the tree festival, all the students uh, came out from the classroom and uh, attend this uh, opportunity. We wow. also celebrate uh, uh, the World Bee Day. And uh, in this case, also we ask the collaboration of the municipality. And uh, it depends of the year. Sometimes they, both, they buy plants uh, be friendly. Sometimes they, they give seeds in order the students can cultivate these seeds at home and grow up flowers for the for the bees. Another year we have also the participation of an expert in uh, in bees and we have a, a sort of conference. And uh, I have also my I would explain later a collaboration with another school in Greece uh, about uh, bees uh, uh, and the problems that they experience bees and uh, uh, we have also books day to promote uh, reading uh, to promote uh, uh, books uh, and so um, the administration give us the opportunity to visit the municipal library to do some activities in the municipal li library and sometimes they they ask an expert maybe a writer uh, to come to our village and to have some uh, um, workshop with the students uh, so we can present uh, sometimes a book uh, maria pia that see. is a very very excellent and inspiring presentation and some examples of open schooling activities where kids are learning hands-on. It is really an amazing presentation. Thank you for that. So I'm going to finish. Is finish my time, Sitra? Okay. Okay. And another opportunity is uh, we have a, a school exhibition at the municipality hall. Uh, students make posters about uh, pollution and we present this poster not at the school but at the municipality hall in order that all the people, all the population can see uh, the work. And also we have collaboration with other school, a twinning project. And uh, at the end, as I said before, collaboration with the industry uh, to talk about circular economy and this we can see our uh, grandmother that are uh, teaching our students to use needles, uh, knitting and so on. And uh, that's, uh, I think that's all because <laughs> I have to have to leave the time for the other present presenter. So thank you very much uh, for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Maria Pia. Our next speaker is from Portugal. Her name is Sonia and she's going to share some wonderful thoughts about geology. Sonia, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, and the floor is yours. OK, thank you. Uh, so like she told, said, I'm Sonia Branch. I'm from Portugal. 
I, uh, I will present only uh, one uh, of our projects. I don't think you, you can see now my screen. Not yet. No, not yet. Okay. okay thank you. Sorry about, about the nose. No, we cannot. Do you want me to share your presentation it's instead? Uh, oh, okay. No, no. Yes, uh, I, I, I put it already. You can see now. Yes. Um. No, I cannot actually. Can you see my screen now? Yes, we can. Okay. Thank you, Sonia. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Uh, so the the subject is geology, uh, discovering geology. The goals are about the the sustainable uh, development and uh, use use science to ensure that uh, non renewable research such as rocks and minerals are studied and not taken for granted. It's not uh, only water, the, the other things uh, it's uh, important too. And discovery, the dimension that the geology represents to the humanity and identify uh, and choose professions about uh, science, technology, and uh, more specifically to geology. Uh, the, the context of this uh, um, learning scenario is a project I named TD Global STEAM. I think I can do Global STEAM with uh, students from 6 to 15 years old. Uh, we are not in this in one school, like public school. We are a private private organi organization, like a school support center. But we do always the link with the school and the curriculum. Uh, we do the projects in the, our our leisure time activities, like holidays. Uh, between this project, this discovering geology. Uh, takes um, starts in November, uh, started in November, and, uh, and uh, take between 10 and 15 afternoons of work. It's a lot of time, but uh, it's a good time. So we, um, with all the activities, we um, uh, do the connection with the curriculum about natural sciences, citizenship, geography, computer sciences, uh, engineering, uh, a lot of subjects because we do, uh, there are a lot of units, uh, different kind of uh, activities too. This uh, diversity do this kind of uh, uh, possibility. Uh, who is involved? The, the students, teachers at school, um, informal education facilitator like me, um, experts, and parents. We do uh, in a lot of places, uh, all around, we do this kind of project. You will know why. And with local business, municipality, uh, other school, and our academy. The phases are the brief. We start uh, in November with a visit from a geoscientist at our place. Uh, the second learning unit was an immensity all around us. The, the students go outdoor and collect the rocks and minerals. And yesterday, uh, we visit the University of Aveiro and do, did a lot of uh, activities about the rocks, minerals and fossils. Then after uh, yesterday, we will be uh, in the second phase, the research uh, with the unit of find out what they are. We are going to um, uh, do research about the rocks and mi mineral the students collected uh, in the unit two. After 
we we the students uh, so sonia yes. you have some wonderful yeah okay Sorry to i will you. accelerate but uh, uh, sonia so, you have some wonderful pictures on your slides can you show us please yes then, the slides. okay thank you you know the the learning scenario at the the um, in the mooc so the they did the, like csi cream scene investigation the, this picture was taken yesterday in the university the they study about the the minerals in the boot to know what criminals uh, um, walk in the in the crime scene to know who is the criminals this is to uh, old students the the bigger students yes because our group group is to with children to six with the six to 15 years old this is 15 years old 10 to 15 years old the in the lab just with the geoscientists they they use the um, the material of the lab yes here they are doing the the experience they look at the geoscientists in the real time working in the real project <laughs> and they 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 this is an x-ray room of uh, geoscience and the little one uh, went to um fossil hunting in the outdoor this is the group and the giant scientist <laughs> in the middle. This is the, the end of the day with the, a big beginning of our um, Great. project. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we cannot um, share. We cannot share every everything. Yes, in this little time, but uh, you will know about it. I can put in the Facebook group. Yes, because sure. And the, we will also help scenario, you to put the presentation. Yes, because the learning scenario is complete, and the the, the colleagues can uh, uh, take some ideas or. Sure. Thank you so much, Sonia. That was a wonderful presentation and some lovely pictures that took us to the moments where you were actually in the project. And yes, we really appreciate you sharing. Only to, to finish, uh, the, this, this project will end only in June with the uh, event, uh, with all the, the, um, the participants to, to celebrate because we are going to put in the Google Maps, the rocks, uh, it's a, a, a big project. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Our next speaker for the evening is from Turkey. And he's going to share some creative interactive lessons, lesson plans with us. Gokche Gok, can you hear me? The floor is yours. Welcome. Hi, and do you hear me? Yes, we do. And uh, I guess after we talked about yesterday and uh, I changed some things in my presentation, I did it more about st STEM education, the science education. So I will... No worries, you can share it. Okay, I will begin. I'm waiting. Mm, do you see it? And uh, not yet. Let us know if you need help with sharing the presentation on the screen. And I uh, click the share button. 
and mm, I guess I did it. And do you see it? Uh, not, uh, not yet. OK, I'm trying to share your presentation. And now do you see it? Uh, no, I think we are. Ha yes, we can see. The screen now you need to present. OK, um, I Thank want you. to. Uh, I want to uh, ask something and can you take a, uh, a few um, sequence shots while I, I am presenting? I want to take a memory. Uh, do you hear me? Yes, we can do that. Yes. OK, I'm beginning and my name is Gök Gök. I'm from Turkey. And I will um, talk about the uh, integrating STEM, the blending science with education through STEM, the ray light scattering and the blue sky. It's about the, why we see the sky and blue. And I will talk about the, yeah, my interaction and why I chose this topic, the Im importance of the STEM and my learning scenario and conclusion. And uh, the, I want to uh, begin with that, this question. Is it impossible to bring in science into education? We always talk about the science, uh, physics or machine learning or biology, chemistry. And uh, uh, we also uh, are educators. We teach English or Turkish or social uh, sciences to teach um, learners. But can we? Um, Emerge this science and education into one, and I am an English English teacher, and I integrated STEM in my previous lesson. I I think that we can use STEM in uh, teaching English too. And but first of all, I want to talk about the STEM. STEM is this um the short version of science, technology, and um, engineering and mathemat mathematics. So it's, it's an effective way of combining science education with the multidisciplinary studies. It's a very effective way of them integrating 21st, 21st century skills to education. So uh, I think uh, the system is really important in the in terms of ed education because students uh, have pra practice in uh, learn and apply it, and it can it learn it makes learning as a lifelong learning. So it becomes very enjoyable for them. Uh, as for my learning scenario, it's about them. Um, Ray light scattering and the blue sky, and we see the sky as blue, but it has some scientific explain explanation. It's like this, uh, the reflection of the light. So, uh, in this, we have two materials, the two glass. Uh, one of them has uh, water, and one of them has the milk. Uh, so, uh, we also need the flashlight. So. Uh, we use the flashlight to um, reflect on these two different um, glasses. So uh, when we observe this one, uh, in the first one, uh, we, we see a um, flashlight, the sunlight. But in the second one, uh, in the milk one, uh, we see that the um, uh, white light turns into a red light. Like, the, for example, we see the, uh, a red light in the sunset. It's because of the uh, ray light scattering and in the second one we see the uh, milk like um, a little blue so it's that's why we we see the sky as blue it's related to ray light scattering so as i mentioned before uh, this experience explains why we see that that red light in sunset because when uh, in the sunset, we, um, we see a um, red 
sky uh, as of and all of us know it. So I think uh, with this activity, students will um, apply it and learn it and they will be able to apply what they learn. So uh, in the seventh grade and eighth grade um, English curriculum, there are some units about the science or environment in the science um, unit. We can integrate it, it as STEM. So uh, besides this, I had another activity, but um, I presented it at another conference. So because of uh, I value the academic ethic, I tried to um, talk about another activity with you. The I designed it and just it is very new. So the other one was about the, uh, teaching students the uh, planting seeds, the process of how a seed plant planting seeds. It was about the environmental process. It was about the, and this was about the science. So and thank you for listening to me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Gokche. That was a really nice science experiment and with some hands on learning. It's really well how you've explained, you know, and connected real life scenarios with that. Thank you for your presentation. You are Our welcome. next. Thank you. Our next guest speaker is from Albania. And Arma, are you here with us? Hello, do you hear me? Yes, we do hear you. Welcome, Arma. The floor is yours. Thank you for having me. Um, do I have the permission to share? Yes, you should have it. Do you see my screen? No, not yet. Yes, now. OK. Uh, can you go on to the uh, button where it says present? If you just click on the icon that says, then we'll be able to see a full screen. Uh, you don't see my full screen now? I think it is buffering. It's black. Yes, we can see it now. We see double screen, so maybe you can have just one. Now? Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So uh, this is my project. Combining several lessons and projects also. The title, Zero Waste and Citizenship. This is a project of several years back. And um, I'm Irma, mathematics and ICT teacher from Albania. The project was awarded as national and European quality enable. Um, it had uh, Move to Learn and Learn to Move um, award, and it was published in several European educational conferences. There were several uh, aims in this project. The uh, first one was because it was uh, multidisciplinary and um, it involved uh, project-based learning and problem-based learning. The main aim of the project was finding and practicing ways about how to protect nature in our living places and becoming better citizens during the process. And there were other aims also, but the most important was raising our awareness over pollution, how to protect nature. This is the introduction of the project. The students introduced their hometowns and school to the partner schools. They learned and shared about taking care about nature and places in their hometowns and not only. Each week a different topic was developed and the students made photos, presentation about topic. Pupils and uh, teachers um, commented on their work in order to reflect on certain activity, exchanging ideas, suggestion enabling to way communication while project has been running because uh, in the beginning there were only two schools then it become 
um, project of more than 80 countries, 18, sorry. Activities were permanently evaluated by filling in questionnaires, online forms, writing comments by using Blog, Tool or Skype. Then I'm um, sorting here the activities. I combine this with um, the learning scenario that we have during the course. So I combine this within the presentation. Environment and polluted areas was one of the processes. After introducing our schools and uh, creating logos and deciding for project steps, first activity was about environment and polluted areas. Then I here sorted the phase format, where happened and uh, the responsible people. Recycling art forms was another step of the project, making art by recycled materials. And here I'm including a YouTube video of our project step. Another activity was learn and play. Playing and sorting out uh, the waste. Uh, we had some help about one uh, website that I'm including here, and here I'm including the project uh, steps, the phase uh, format, uh, where it happened, with whom the responsibilities. After this, it was another kind of play, uh, including um, treasure hunt. Our second activity was finding and using creative ways to reuse and recycle using um, three R's, clothes, plastics, etc. This uh, you can see some of um, just a few of uh, incomes and materials in this stage pictures. Uh, this is one video. Um, I'm not letting it all. During work, students work, starting with gathering, creating art forms by using materials found in nature. Sorry. Another activity was uh, the school fair. It was almost at the end of um, the project. The project summary to all students and teachers, community, parents and other stakeholders. Presentation of the project steps for the community. All our art craft in a fair and presentation in PowerPoint of every activity done for the project until final. Then the dissemination, we had dissemination in social media and in YouTube. And uh, other applications, online applications like uh, Prezi, Padlet, Canva, etc. Here I'm also um, including the phase format where happened and the other responsibilities. Here you can see a few pictures of that activity. The fair activity. Here it is another uh, video. We help the nature uh, stay green and uh, the students working uh, in the school, surrounding areas and in town, helping the community. The last activity was the evaluation. We use Google tool for evaluation by students, teachers and parents also. And here is the link of evaluation. I'm including the uh, print screen of uh, that evaluation of the time. And uh, since it was a uh, twinning project, um, using the students' idea of uh, connecting different schools over a map, creating calendars and uh, brochures and um, shirts. Very nice, Arma. This is just the summary, how it starts, keep on walking and the finish the last time. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you for having me. Next, I would like to invite Grazina from Poland. Grazina, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Uh, I'm Grazina. Can you hear me? 
Yes, we can hear you. Can you please share your presentation? I'm from Poland. I, I, in fact, I'm a retired teacher and I'm looking for other opportunities uh, to work in uh, my community. Probably, and I, I, I hope that I can make a project with senior club and join it to, to the school. I want to tell you about, um, about uh, my experiences. Uh, Brezina, can you please share your presentation? Yes, yes, I'm going to do it. Great, now we can see you. But I can't. Uh, just a second. Can you see my presentation? I, yes, no. If you can just put it in the present mode. Okay, it's slow. I don't know why. Okay. Yes, now we can see. Thank you. You have five minutes and we have one more speaker in the lobby. Okay. Uh, so I'm talking only shortly about my experiences with different experts. Uh, so um, uh, I was inspired uh, to uh, to cooperate by uh, different uh, people on my way. And I think uh, that uh, generally I, I, as a language teacher, I had to make uh, projects uh, of other kind than uh, mathematics uh, or, or physics or chemistry. But uh, uh, during my lessons, I um, after lessons, I had some activities for students uh, and uh, I sometimes cooperated okay, with um, my friends from uh, uh, Michigan uh, State uh, University. Uh, they, uh, wow. they sent me oh. some sets uh, uh, for students to work and uh, they uh, supervise the activity. So I think this is one kind of expert. Uh, uh, in uh, the projects that I had, many, in fact, we uh, often uh, decided to ask parents uh, and grandparents to help us. So, uh, for example, in the project where we talked about uh, tradition games and uh, traditional uh, toys, uh, we use parents as experts and uh, we um, pre produce some instructional videos for our peers. So uh, when we had parents uh, or grandparents um, showing the activity, then uh, we recorded videos and then the videos were sent to partner schools. So uh, it was It was a nice experience and then we could, of course, uh, talk and discuss what was wrong, what was what worked well, and we prepared a big guide uh, about toys, about different games. Uh, we also, during our um, projects, we interviewed all the, the oldest citizens and we used them as experts and they often came back uh, to our school later and telling uh, or, or serving as other kind of experts in the professional things that they were uh, they were uh, engaged um, uh, in this project i had a very uh, uh, nice experience with experts because we wanted to uh, cooperate uh, uh, with uh, schools and prepare a big uh, play on a stage, so we looked for uh, a theater who could host us, and um, uh, we cooperated with the director who couldn't uh, do for us, uh, he, he, who who uh, couldn't find anybody in Poland, but he found a, a person in another school, uh, not directly. They the theater cooperated with another theater in Nitra and they contacted us with the school 
and we had the, the, the uh, teacher, drama teacher and other teachers from that school as experts uh, who worked in our project. And uh, I think that it's important to, to know that um, you have an idea how something works, but if you are very close to professionals, you uh, realize that it works somehow different. So all, all that I wanted to do in a project was um, turned on the other way. So the different form of our theater play, uh so we adapted i was i was very happy to have it and then uh, um, uh, of course uh, the situation when we were accepted to play on the stage in the theater uh we uh, i had to face it and see the whole team so not only the director but also all the team that worked, uh, also people who take your clothes, also the people who repair uh, uh, actors' uh, clothes during the stage and so on. So it was uh, really uh, intimidating for me because I was not prepared for this, but everything worked well. In the same project, we had other experiences uh, with experts. Uh, we explored the area of traditional theater, like uh, traditional um, everything what what is connected with uh, different kind of festivals. So uh, our expert did not understand that we wanted to. Uh, reach deeper into the uh, significance of, of some uh, festivals. And uh, uh, this uh, workshop with our teachers was not good. Probably during the meeting, I met not with that person, the person who was uh, responsible for workshops in general, but not the professional. So it is good to know who you are looking for. Uh, we also had some other children as experts because it was very nice to have children uh, um, uh, as experts as the peers of the same age uh, of our students. So uh, when we were uh, discovering uh, what problems uh, uh, have uh, other people have, we uh, we worked with um, a school um, of uh, children who can't uh, see well or can't uh, hear well. Uh, we prepared something beforehand, like a texture book. And uh, not being uh, professional, we prepared a book. Um, I insisted on doing a book only with texture and uh, with uh, not paying attention to uh, to um, colors, but in fact, the colors were important because uh, children, uh, they were not completely blind and they could see and vivid colors and contrast uh, mattered. So such expert always uh, add something to, uh, to us. We cooperated uh, and used uh, local authorities very often as a supporters of different our uh, actions, but um, we also had a debate during one of the projects. We uh, we taught children how to make changes around them, and uh, this uh, when we uh, entered the stage where children observed what was wrong in our town, what they didn't like, and we had a debate uh, in the town, town hall. Uh, they had they they could see. Uh, that uh, different people who work in the local government have a different attitude towards children. So when some people are, um, they, they like uh, and they understand that uh, everybody has their uh, uh, right to say something and to make a change, the others were very skeptical. And uh, it was before uh, we had a youth council by the, uh, by the local uh, government. So um but but generally we are we get a lot of help from local government like uh, in the situation when there was a children of Uzman in uh, one of the private schools they knew that we had the project about children's rights so they invited him also to our school 
um, very funny thing happened uh, during Great. the uh, graffiti. Uh, the mayor decided to let our children make a graffiti on the school, uh, on the school, on the wall of our school. There wasn't anything like this in the town, so uh, we uh, were um, happy to to be given this opportunity to paint the the town, the sport hall, and uh, we. Mm, we went to the Museum of Modern Art the, and, and they uh, suggested uh, an uh, artist and he was not only a technical help uh, during we, uh, we had to uh, find paints and so on, but he also uh, um, told me that uh, we cannot transfer just the pictures from children uh, which we received from other countries, uh, but we have to uh, feel the atmosphere uh, how uh, people doing graffiti uh, work. So uh, I was the one who had to uh, take care of the paints and uh, of the order, but in fact, uh, and he was directing them and showing uh, how it is, uh, how to create, uh, how to use uh, sprays and so on. Grazina, can you please mute the video so that we can hear you clearly? Okay, I won't. I won't use the video maybe anymore. So, thank uh, you so much. Uh, because uh, because uh, it, it's not enough time. Uh, I think I'm mm. happy, sorry. So uh, uh, I I advise the teachers who who uh, who are uh, who are the begin beginners in their work that uh, uh, it's never too far. It means sometimes it's worth going a uh, few kilometers for a nice uh, uh, trip with children. Uh, and uh, like we went to the um, animation studio where children had very nice workshop and they could uh, work as a team and prepare the set, prepare the, uh, the characters and then they made their first clip and then we had to, uh, we could uh, use uh, the, the knowledge to, pre to pre prepare our own in other projects, our animations. I can you, actually see that you, there's so much of work that has gone into your projects and it is so inspirational. You've collaborated with so many external experts and presented children as experts. And uh, I think it's very, yes. very inspirational for all of us. And later we will post all the presentation videos and slides on our Facebook group. So everyone will have access to it. Okay, so thank so, you very uh, much, Grazina. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, okay. And uh, now I would like to move on to our guest. Uh, I'm sorry, from... I have to switch it off, but it disappeared. I will do it fast to close. Okay. Thank uh, you. Just go back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No worries. You can take it. You okay. can mute yourself. And <laughs> our next guest speaker for today is from Romania. Nicoletta, I welcome you on the stage. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I try to share my screen. Uh, present mode. Oh. I think this. Uh, no, 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 no. Nicolita, there is an icon on the top yes, of your... uh, up on the share the presentation, but when yes. the want to share the screen, they don't uh, allow. Yes. They say uh, just a little bit. Uh, now you see? Uh, we see, yes, we see it. Yes, we are uh, our object, okay? Can okay. you put it to the present mode so that we can see the whole screen? Uh, and me, it's on the whole screen, but I don't know here. Uh, what uh, present mode? Uh, camera, okay. So, uh, oh, 
from here now i exit no i i uh, i don't know when i need to do yeah this Just, works fine this works fine you can continue with this thank you okay sorry um i i will see i will send you also this presentation uh, because or uh, i sent to you it's only the video after the global education from indonesia so uh, we had a, a, a project coordinated by uh, Pericles. Pericles is a consortium from 12 university uh, where uh, was created team team uh, team it was uh, four schools from two country from different country uh, our uh, me and our schools from here so me uh, our college and another college from here we have partner from uh, Italy uh, a school and the university. So idea of our project, it was to um, measure the quality of the air. Uh, we are here about something about us. Uh, we call the project drop of stem because it's all, only some drop from from stem what we're doing here. And the, the idea it was to create a Arduino uh, uh, with Arduino a meteor station. With Meteo Station, we uh, could to uh, measure the quality of the air. Here you have our, our students how to prepare our Meteo Station. Uh, we have uh, many information about the University of Physics from Bucharest, uh, where the students was on the study how to create a Meteo Station. Uh, here it's uh, uh, how they work the meteor station, and we uh, was in different places in our area to measure this quality of the year. Here we uh, make a measure with the drone, uh, we and uh, we launch with the drone the meteor station to measure uh, the quality of air, uh, air of uh, uh, 200 meters. Here it's our students in the mountain, and uh, after that, the results. It was um, put uh, to create a conceptual uh, map about how uh, look uh, the area from um, from uh, our party because here we are um, uh, seven city very very close because it was area of coal uh, factory and now the uh, factory was closed and the people go outside and now we try to make a touristic uh, area here and we think to to create this uh, conceptual uh, map like a uh, art design so i talk with the teacher of art and we think to make this uh, conceptual um, uh, map like a tree uh, where you put the leaves and the leaves were which are green uh, the quality of uh, air it's good like to uh, uh, um, make a oak in the weekend or maybe buy the houses or something like this. Uh, the intensity of green is different uh, about exactly what was the measure of the uh, quality of uh, air. And here where is red, uh, the students find a place where is not uh, is not good to stay because it's a lot of pollution. Uh, of course, with this uh, measure, they um, uh, could prove that if you stay near uh, principal road, the pollution is bigger like if you stay uh, far away from uh, this uh, road. Uh, so uh, with all this uh, conclusion, here it's uh, put the conclusion the day when they make the measure if you see in 23rd or 18 on 18 uh, the uh, period of time uh, and uh, after that we want to talk with the uh, municipality and think to have a um, station which can uh, be in contact with the station for other uh, city and to can be in real team uh, time to say, OK, you can go there and spend time or you can go there to, uh, to spend time. Uh, so that was uh, our project. And with this project, we present in the uh, global uh, conference uh, in the um, Indonesia. And because we have partner from Indonesia, we was in uh, touch in the online. And our partner from Indonesia present our project uh, there. It was that movie what you will send to you. Also, this uh, project is present in another conference about uh, open schooling. And uh, uh, with this uh, opportunity, we attract the students from uh, secondary school to our high school because I teach in the higher school. So uh, 
this is uh, was my presentation. Thank you, Nicolita. That was a great reminder of how important our, our environment is and how children can contribute to this research in the environmental factors. Thank you very much. Yes, and it was nice because I'm a physics teacher and many times it's hard to, to make them to learn physics. So uh, it was a practic things. And here we need to learn how to, co to coding the Arduino. So uh, it, it was many things uh, combined together. Yes, it was many things and hands-on activities. Thank yes, you, Nicolita. I will send now also this presentation uh, because this presentation I don't send to you, okay? Yes, and you can also stop sharing the screen. Yes, 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 uh, yes. Many thanks to all the participants who joined us today evening and also a special thanks to our course, course, uh, course coordinator, Giuseppe, and our team partner, Elizabeth, who has been here and supporting us in the background. Thank you all. Have a pleasant evening. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.